Hi there. Uh, today we're going to be looking at measurement and finance. Uh, we're looking at the practical workshop application of quantity surveying. So specifically today we're looking at centerline measurements and um, calculating it on two dimension paper. So here's my calc sheet. I have started off sketching out the drawing. I started looking at my internal perimeter. Uh, this is the information we've been given. Sometimes you're given the external perimeter, so that's just as valid and we'll, you'll see that later on. But at the minute, we've got internal perimeter information. So adding them together, all of the sides, what have we got? 27 metres. I'm assuming um, that we're working in millimetres, even though this drawing does not tell me what's being used. OK, so moving on. I've, after I've got my perimeter, I need to be looking at the depth of the wall. So here are all my wall elements. Right. So if I look at my cavity, um, I know what that is. I know what the blocks are. But I don't know what a half brick is at the moment. So what do I need to do? Well, actually, you could go to British Standards, UK Standards, um, and have a little look and see what the standard sizes are. I've sketched it there for you. But bear in mind, if you're working in the US or anywhere else in the world and you're getting materials from there, the sizes may be different. You need to look at the standards for that region. OK, um, so here's a little sketch showing you how if you didn't know the standard size, how could you possibly work out? the um the half brick right so i was left with oh do i have 100 mil or do i go with the standard size well actually always stick to the standards 102.5 is what i've got so what have i done added them all together so if you look at all the elements together three of them that's what i've got 277.5 millimeters okay so all i need to do now what's left is to input this into my center line length calculation so you use the formula if you've got the internal perimeter, which is what I've got, you use this one. If you've got the external perimeter, you use that one. OK, so just bear that in mind, because moving on, we have only got the internal perimeter. So that's the information we're using there. So 27 meters from a perimeter. And then I use four times the depth of the wall. And all that's doing is it's giving me the length, the perimeter of basically smack bang in the middle of that wall. So that is all this calculation is helping us to work out. OK, and there's my calculation. So have a little go, have a little look. And then if you find yourself with additions to your building, for example, bay windows, etc., you might find that you need deductions taken off. Well, you do need to work those out as well. So you might need, for example, here to think about Pythagoras and how you're going to apply that to get the lengths. So there's um, the calculations that I did for this bay window so you can have a little look and um, to get your head around that so moving on swiftly we're looking at uh, Willis's elements of quantity surveying this is how you record it onto dimension paper so the totals that I got over here um, Willis got too. Oh, wonderful. Um, they've done it in a vertical method. Now, this is a good mathematical method, so you can see clearly what is going on. OK, um, there are some more calculations there, just in case you were wondering, um, you know, if you're looking at costing other elements, you might want some other calculations put in there. But the main one is this one, centerline length. Now, Willis has done it slightly different. You see this four times two times a half. Two times a half is one. So basically, 4 times 227.5, right? That's this bit here, 4 times 227.5. Done exactly the same calculation as me. However, he's doing it, or she, or they, it's Lee et al. Um, they are doing it slightly different to how I, I would do it at the moment. But I'm going to do another talk on that on a different occasion, how to work out the different types. That's it in a nutshell, really. So this is how you would record it. Um, and yeah, there's your calculations. All right. Thanks for your time. Take care.